last like 20, 30 minutes trying to put together this coffee table. I'm like 99% sure that it's faulty, but I've contacted Temple and Webstar. Hopefully they'll replace it, but I'm scared that if they replace it, it's just gonna be the same issue. But I guess if that happens, maybe I'll just ask for a refund if it's the same problem again. But that's just so sad because it was gonna be so cute. I've decided to ditch the coffee table for now. And I'm going to the gym. This is my outfit. I'm wearing my Crop Shop Boutique set. This Gymshark tee that's my absolute favorite. And then I'm just wearing my Adidas white sneakers. I'm actually starting a new program today. So I'm very nervous because there's a few new movements and things that I haven't done before. A few new machines and stuff. My goal this week is to finally venture out of the ladies room. Maybe not today but sometime this week because I really do need to use other parts of the gym to be able to complete all of the things in my program. I don't actually need to today. Like I can use the ladies room for the stuff I have today, but moving into the future weeks, I need to switch things up. So I'm very nervous about that, but I'll keep you updated with how that goes. I wanted to do a little bit of a voiceover because I feel like it's kind of hard to find other YouTubers or influencers who are more at the start of their fitness journey, I guess. And I would definitely call myself a beginner. I'm still learning so much, but I really like learning and I really like understanding how to do things properly. So starting this new program, I've got some new exercises that I've never tried before and that can be a really daunting thing and a really scary thing but I really wanted to include footage of me trying some of these things for the first time because I feel like I just don't get to see that very often so this is actually footage of me trying to do single leg deadlifts for the first time and it was awful like I felt like I looked so stupid it's a very awkward movement and I definitely don't have the hang of it yet. You can see that I completely dropped the weight so that I could focus more on my form and on my movement but I feel like you don't get to see people kind of figuring out their workouts and looking kind of silly I guess like I felt so silly being in the gym trying to figure out how to work out these movements watching all of these YouTube videos on how to do the form correctly it just feels quite vulnerable which may sound so silly but just not knowing what you're doing in a room full of people who seem like they know what they're doing is just a scary thing so i just wanted to remind you guys that everyone starts somewhere everyone has to learn how to do things before they're good at what they're doing and it's okay to not know what you're doing as well i don't know if that sounds super cheesy but i just wanted to remind you guys of that just finished at the gym and i'm about to head into woolworths to grab our groceries for the week we don't need too much should be a pretty quick trip which <laughs> is my personal favorite type of trip let's go happy Tuesday. I'm about to go for a walk. I'm not feeling the best today so I'm gonna have a day off the gym and I'm just gonna go on a long walk instead. I'm actually gonna meet up with George because she's walking one of our friend's dogs so I'm gonna meet up with her and then I think we're gonna walk to a coffee shop which will be really nice. So I've got my proper walking shoes on. You know she means business when she's got the ASICs on and we're gonna go get a coffee. So while I was getting coffee with Georgia, I got an email from Templin Webstar, which is where this coffee table is from. And they had actually sent me a video for how to fix this whole table situation, which was amazing. Very thankful to Nigel and the Templin Webster team for showing me how to get it all sorted. And I'm so happy that it's sorted now because it looks so good. Happy Wednesday, friends. I'm on my way to go see my mom and have lunch with her at her work. Go pick us up some coffees on the way. I just need to grab myself some lunch because I didn't make anything today. We didn't have any like leftovers or anything, so I guess I have to buy lunch. What a shame. You haven't missed much this morning. I went to the gym, did a very quick session because it was super busy. I was like waiting around for the machines that I wanted to use. And like, I was just getting frustrated. So it was not a fun time today, but that's just how it is sometimes. And that's okay. I think after seeing my mum, I'm gonna go to the shops. Yesterday in the mail, I got a little birthday card from my grandma and she sent me some birthday money, which was so sweet. I feel like I'm too old to be receiving birthday gifts at this point. Does anyone else feel like that? 
like from my grandparents and stuff but I'm very thankful and so I think I'm gonna go buy some books because what else would I spend my money on <laughs> just the experience of going book shopping is one of my favorite things to do which is dangerous <laughs> with the amount of serotonin that shopping gives me specifically book shopping but what's she gonna do can't change who I am um no I definitely could but right now I'm reading Akatar A Court of Thorns and Roses this is my first ever Sarah J Mass book I'm like halfway a little bit over halfway through I think now and all of you guys on my reading Instagram account are saying how much better the second book is and I'm enjoying the first one it's not like a five star read for me but it is pretty good I'm enjoying it I would say 90% of my comments are like oh Akatara is okay but the second book it's so good so I think I want to buy that and then I also want to buy my own copy of Love Stories by Trent Dalton because I'm borrowing this one but I just love it so much that I want my own copy and I want to be able to lend it out to some friends and stuff so that's on the agenda for today I don't know why I just sat here and explained all of that to you when I'm gonna bring you along with me but Let's go. Thursday friends. We have a busy day today. Liam and I are heading to the coast tonight after dinner but before that there is a huge to-do list. Honestly mostly work stuff. I would love to get majority of my work done before we head to the beach and so I can enjoy the beach but I did want to show you the books that I picked up yesterday. Let me grab them. I did go into Big W telling myself that I could only get two books. I did walk out with three but honestly that's not too bad. Like I'm not super mad at myself. The third book that I got was definitely an impulse buy though. So I firstly picked up Love Stories by Trent Dalton which I think I mentioned to you guys that I wanted to pick up because I wanted my own copy because the copy that I have been reading is borrowed so got my very own copy the other book that I went in specifically for was A Court of Mist and Fury which you guys have been in my DMs going crazy for I did officially finish Akatar this morning it was so good if you want to hear my full thoughts I did a March wrap up which would have been the last video that was up on my channel before this one and so I talk about this one a little bit more in depth and all of my thoughts that go along with it but when I posted saying that I was reading this everyone was like Rachel you need to read the second book it's gonna be so good it's my favorite book ever it's my favorite book out of the series so I'm very excited but I'm just like nervous because look how chunky that is she is chunky but we love her how many pages oh my gosh over 600 pages I do not remember the last time I read a book over 600 <laughs> But I'm excited. You guys have put my expectations up here. I'll keep you guys updated on my thoughts on this. And then for my impulse buy, I saw this one and I just couldn't walk past it. I've actually not heard a single person talk about this, but after I posted it on my Instagram story, I had a few of you message me and say that you really enjoyed it. This is just a stunning book. It was in the new release section, so it is that really annoying size, which honestly almost made me not buy it. Like if you can see, it has that extra few centimeters up the top and on the side, which is very normal for Australian new releases. They usually sell them in this size for the first like six to 12 months, which is a pet peeve of mine, but I still purchased it. So obviously it can't be that annoying to me, but I did judge a book by its cover. I saw the cover of it and I was like, that is so cute. But I picked it up. I read the back and it just looked really fun, like a bit of a rom-com kind of situation. So it's about an interior designer called Danny. She buys a vacant lot next to her ex fiance's house. It says, Danny, he plans to build a vacation rental that will a mess with his view and peace of mind and b prove that Danny is not someone to be stepped on. Welcome to Project Spide House. But then it looks like she meets an architect that is working with her on this project. And I'm assuming they probably fall in love because like what else would happen? So again, I'll keep you guys updated on what I think of that, but it looks to be very cute. So those are the books that I picked up, but I'm gonna get stuck into my work for the rest of the day. And then tonight we get to head off to the beach, which I'm so excited about. It made me. So <laughs> angry and of course Grace was just like copying it all. <laughs> I'm not having a bar of it. Oh, okay. So then the next time I went and did it and I was like, I can't do this. I'm literally story my freaking life when it comes to anything at the gym. As soon as I learned how to do it properly, I'm like, oh this is actually really hard. <laughs> See? 
option for birthday lunch. Stunning. Have you worn that before? Yeah, I wore it on Christmas. <laughs> you look so unimpressed. <laughs> it's like low back, which is nice. Do you like it? I don't know. I think I do. My coffee machine has decided it needs a clean. See, the thing is, the best way to do this would be to try on options. Yeah. But I don't want to try anything on. No. And I also don't want to bring like five options. Yeah, no. This could be nice. Mmm. Pants could be fun. Yeah, those white pants are very nice. Simultaneously press and hold the on and off and manual shot button. Four seconds. One, two, three, four. Could do this. Oh yeah, I love. Yeah, maybe I'll just pack those two. So I've got the white dress and then this option and this top option. Mm-hmm. I Does like it the custom. Doesn't really <laughs> Happy Friday, friends. It is all, I don't have a watch on. <laughs> it's almost 12. We're about to head out to lunch. We're just gonna go to Hog's Breath, which we're both very excited about because we love Hog's Breath. We're spending the weekend in Calandra. We came up last night, which you guys saw. We left after dinner, so we didn't get here till like 9 p.m. pretty much. So we basically just went to sleep. And then this morning, we've just gone and got coffee and really just hung out. Liam still has uni classes today and I still have work to do. So I've done a little bit of reading, but apart from that, I've just been sitting doing emails and editing and stuff, which is still fine because when when you're looking out to this is your view, work doesn't seem so bad. And to be fair, my work is very fun to begin with, but I've never really explained this. We come and stay here, like if we're on a holiday, there's a 50% chance that we're probably here. We're in Caloundra and this is where we came for our honeymoon and we've come for multiple holidays since, just like little weekends away, because this unit where we're staying is owned by our family. They used to rent it out almost like an Airbnb, but they don't do that anymore, so it's just used for family which is like the best thing ever i absolutely adore staying here it's probably my favorite place and they're actually slowly renovating it so this is the new kitchen which is super fun i think their next project is the bathroom so i'm sure that will be really fun and i just love staying here it's also very special because liam has been holidaying here since you were born in this exact unit and his parents actually stayed here for their honeymoon and then we stayed here for our honeymoon so I just think it's so special and I guess it's just got so much like sentimentality to it but because we come and stay here like semi-regularly regularly regularly you are regularly we kind of have our favorite cafes and our favorite coffee shops that we kind of just stick to now so we went to slide coffee this morning and we got some takeaway coffees but we also got some of their cold brew liam's already had his um but i haven't had mine yet i might have it after lunch but i really enjoyed it super good slide coffee is definitely our favorite coffee shop here they don't really do meals but great great coffee and we also enjoy white picket fence what is that coffee place groundskeeper willy that's really good again that's more like coffee rather than meals but sometimes i have like food trucks parked outside and as for meals we do love a hog's breath and we also really like delish fish which is just the fish and chip shop at king's we also like hello harry's which is more of a chain thing but those are probably our top spots we're not super adventurous though so I'm sure there are many other great spots. Let us know if you have any suggestions, recommendations around the Caloundra area, but we're gonna head off to lunch. I'm very excited. Don't know what I'm gonna get yet. <laughs> and then we're probably gonna spend the rest of the day chilling. Actually, I also started a new book, Love at First Spy. Looks like it's gonna be a bit of an enemies to lovers workplace situation, kind of like hating game vibes, but with the business side of things, it's all about like houses and interior design and stuff like that, rather than just like super corporate. But I have only just started it. I'm not super into it yet, but I'll keep you guys updated on my thoughts on that.
ready for lunch doing my makeup. I was gonna cut my hair, but I didn't bring a hairdryer and it hasn't dried in time, so we're just gonna wing it. <laughs> we're going to the Malula Bar Pavilion. We went there for Riley's 21st in December and I really enjoyed it and it's like not too far away. I think it's like a 20, 30 minute drive and they just have nice drinks and good food. So that is gonna be my like official birthday lunch because my birthday is tomorrow, but we'll be only spending about half the day here and then heading home so we can get back in time for church and just kind of getting settled before the week starts again. It's just Liam and I, but I'm really excited. We went and got some Zarafas as well. This is my second coffee of the day. I got a Mocha Fusion, which if you guys remember, George and I used to always go and get fusions. When we lived in the squad house, pretty much like all of us were obsessed with fusions. That's how I got into coffee. I used to go get one every single Thursday before uni because it was like my huge uni day. And so I would go to Zarafas on the way to uni to like hype myself up for a full day, which is such a random memory, but I haven't had a mocha fusion in so long because now I kind of just drink iced lattes, but it's really good. Liam got a white chocolate. I actually can't remember what it was, but it was so good. I think I'm going to order that next time we go because it was just so yum. fourth birthday today which is insane I still feel like I'm 20 we just got back from the beach we went for a swim laid in the Sun it was honestly perfect I feel like this is my favorite birthday ever and it's only like 11 30 but we've just come back and we're packing up to head home we were saying that we would love to stay here for like another week we have had the best weather this weekend like it's insane I just got off the phone with like all of my extended family they're all currently in Victoria with my grandparents because my uncle who lives in New Zealand has finally been able to come back and visit. So because my family's all spread out, my mom and her siblings and obviously my grandparents have all been able to finally catch up after literally years, which is just so special. I'm so glad they were finally able to catch up. But because they were all together, I got to speak to them all on the phone this morning, which was just so nice. But they were saying it's 11 degrees there and raining. And I'm like, there is literally not a cloud in the sky here. I don't know what's going on. Liam and I were also saying that I don't think we've ever had weather this good when we've been up the coast. Like it's just absolute perfection. Not so hot that you're like sweating, but hot enough to go for a swim, hot enough to lay on the beach in the sun and just like enjoy it and not be like gross and hot. Like it's, ugh, I'm so sad that we have to go home, but we're packing up to head back. Probably gonna get some zaps on the way home, of course, but it's just been the perfect day. Like, look at this weather. Look at the sky. There's literally not a cloud in the sky. <laughs> so sad to go home, but so happy to have had this morning. What is this called? White chocolate fusion. White chocolate fusion. So it's still got coffee in it, but it tastes so good. Liam gets it with cream, I get it without. Are you eating the cream? 
we're now home obviously we got home at like just before two i think and we have to leave the house again at 3 15 to get to church and right now it's almost three but we honestly just had like a power hour we got home we unpacked the car put all of our clothes and everything away and also put on a load of washing we both had showers and obviously like got ready i did my makeup and my hair and stuff i didn't get to wash my hair so it's not looking the best but it's fine but i'm shocked because i thought i would be like pushing it to get ready in time as well as like unpacking and kind of prepping for the week ahead but we're fine we've got another like 20 minutes um so i thought i'd open a couple of other gifts that i have for my birthday we have two packages one from gymshark and one from stacks i picked both of these out but i had to wait till my birthday to open them so i'm very excited because these have been sitting in the guest bedroom for a couple weeks now from stacks I'm so excited. This is from their PSV5 collection. They launched like all of the colors. <gasps> These are perfect. I have two sets from the PSV collection. I have a black set and a forest green set, but blue is my absolute favorite color to wear. So I'm very, very, very excited to have these. These are the most stunning blue that I've ever seen. And I really love the PSV5. I wear an extra small and then I got the matching crop as well. <gasps> Again, just so beautiful i feel like the psv5 is just so clean and minimal but just perfect honestly it just looks stunning so i'm so excited about those i feel like i've been waiting so long to open that package and then gymshark another two things these are both the same sports bra but in two different colors I was so excited when I saw that they launched these. Oh, I'm so nervous. I hope these fit okay. I got a size small. I'm usually an extra small in Gymshark, but I thought that because these are a little bit smaller, going a size up might be helpful, but we will see. These are their minimal sports bras and they have the removable straps at the back so you can make it into a halter and these just feel so nice. I'm so excited. So I got the black one. And of course, I had to get the blue as well. I also really want the orange and the beige because they're all stunning colors, but I just picked up these two and I wanted to see how they go before I purchase any others. But this is my favorite blue that Gymshark does. I have the Bando sports bra in this color as well. And it's just so beautiful. It's like the most perfect, like purpley lilac blue shade, almost like a periwinkle. And this could even be really fun to mix and match with the blue bike shorts from Stax as well. So happy. Speaking of birthday gifts, Liam got me a Kindle, which I am so freaking excited about. I've actually just plugged it in and I'm like charging it up. So I'll let that charge while we're at church and then I'll probably set it up fully tonight. I also got the white one, which is just so beautiful. I'm so glad I got the white one and I've already signed up to Kindle Unlimited. So I'm very excited to download a bunch of books and start reading on that. And then my parents-in-law got me this, which is so beautiful. It's a wooden grazing table, like a picnic table. So it has little legs um, and it also has the little hole for the wine bottle and like wine glasses, which I just think would be so fun. All of my friends know that I love a grazing board. I am snack queen. So very excited to go on a little picnic with my friends with this. It's literally perfect, I'm so excited. And then apart from those, I've also got some gift vouchers, which is so exciting. Some book vouchers. So I'll definitely have to do some shopping over the next few weeks with those. And I actually have some books to open, but I think I'm gonna do a whole like book unboxing haul which will probably be at my next video after this one so stay tuned for thursday if you want to see like a huge birthday book unboxing because i have quite a few and the last thing that we need to do before we leave for church is our little birthday tradition which is take a polaroid photo so we've been doing this since 2017 i wish we'd done it in 2016 as well because i spent that year with liam also but i didn't have a polaroid camera at that time i think that was actually the year that i received a polaroid camera for my birthday so unfortunately we don't have that year documented but i think it's just such a fun tradition to do i need to put these up on my wall actually we had them up at the old house but i haven't put them up yet here but if you have a polaroid camera or a disposable camera or something i really recommend doing this because it's just so special to look back on it'll be so cool when we have like 10 plus years It is now, I think like 8.30 p.m. We got some GYG for dinner. I set up my Kindle and we've just been hanging out, but I'm gonna go to bed. So I hope you guys enjoyed this week in my life. It has been such a lovely week and such a lovely day, especially today, obviously. I honestly have a really good feeling about 24. I think it's gonna be a really great year. I hope I haven't jinxed it.
but I'm excited to see what happens. But I love you guys so much. Thank you for all of the lovely, lovely messages on Instagram, especially. I haven't been able to reply to them all, but I have seen them and I do appreciate them so much. I'm definitely feeling extra loved and extra thankful today. But I guess I will see you guys in my next video very soon. Good. Bye.